Welcome to the second episode of Bite Size JavaScript. In the former episode, we made a quick introduction to Docker by creating a Docker container that can run Node.js on it. And in this episode, we are going to automate this container creation process. So let's get started. As usual, we'll first go to our projects folder. And here, let's create a folder called Docker. And then we'll create another folder inside this one. And this will be the place that we are going to create our Docker file. We'll soon see what a Docker file is and what it is used for. So for now, let's just create a blank file called Docker file in this folder. Now, if you remember from the previous episode, we executed a set of commands to create a Docker container that had Node.js on it. And this Docker file is nothing but a template or a blueprint that you can use to automate these kind of commands as we see here. Now let's go back to our workspace. So let's see how easy it is to build an image based on our Docker file template, so to speak. For this, we'll do a docker build t and give it a tag name and put a dot at the end of this line to tell the build tool to search for a Docker file in this current folder. And when we do a Docker images again for the second time, we'll see that we have created a new image. Next up, we'll log into Docker on the console by using our Docker Hub username and password. Now we'll log into GitHub to create a new repository here. And next we'll go to the settings page and tap the SSH keys link to add our SSH key basically. Now let's go back to our workspace and configure Git by specifying a username and an email. So all this ritual is just a first time setup that you won't have to repeat it again. Now let's clone this repository by using git clone. And now let's move our docker file to our local repository. And then I'll just get rid of this docker folder since I don't need it anymore. Then I'll add this docker file to git by doing a git add docker file. And then commit it by using git commit dash m. And then adding a short description of what we did so far. After that, I'll publish this to GitHub by doing a git push origin master. So let's see, we have a Docker file and we have pushed it to our repository on GitHub. The next thing we are going to do is to make this Docker file work with Docker Hub. And to do this, we are going to link our repository to Docker Hub. So for that, we are going to log into Docker Hub first and then tap this button to connect Docker Hub to GitHub. And in the upcoming screen, we'll grant access to Docker Hub to use our GitHub credentials. And this will establish a link between GitHub and Docker Hub for us. And then we will choose create an automated build from this dropdown to, well, create an automated build. We will then pick the repository that we just created and also add a short description about this operation. And then we select the build settings tab to see this screen. So from now on, whenever we do a merge into the master branch of our GitHub repository, a new build will be triggered here. And we can also manually trigger a build by tapping to this trigger button. And then we can tap to this row to get information about our build progress. And once the build is done, our image will be publicly ready to download. And since this is a public Docker image, anybody can pull it to their workspace by using Docker pull. And after doing a Docker pull, when we do a Docker images, we can see our newly downloaded image on our list of images. And we can run it by doing a Docker run dash I dash T. Let's give it a name by dash dash name playground maybe. And then provide the repository name and the tag, which is latest here. And next we can do a Docker PS to see that it's actually running. And we can even inspect our container by doing a Docker inspect playground. Let's go back inside our playground container. So we see that we can run Node.js in it as before. And as I said, our Docker container is publicly available. So if you launch Kitematic and search for JS Bytes, for instance, you'll be able to find it and create an image based on it. And of course, we are not the only ones to create a Node.js image. And if you search for Node.js in Kitematic, you can find many other images to pick from. Similarly, you can find images for almost anything. In that regard, Docker is a really powerful tool when you want to quickly prototype something. Well, this was a blitz introduction to Docker automation, and it's enough to get you excited to get your hands dirty about it, I guess. We'll pause our Docker exploration here, and in the next episode, we'll start to learn some Git tips and tricks that you might not have tried before. See you in the next episode, and until then, may the source be with you.